Welcome to the Quick Tray Modeler Photogrammatic Drone Getting Started series. This series discusses the tools and methods in Quick Tray Modeler to analyze, edit, conduct QAQC procedures, produce products, and share data to meet your photogrammetry needs. In this video, part three of three, now that the data is cleaned up, we will discuss what you can do with it. We'll cover profiles, change detection, contours, slope analysis, volumetrics, and more. Additionally, we will demonstrate movie fly-throughs and exporting products. In part two of this series, we covered a few methods of selecting and editing points in your photogrammatically dry point cloud. Using the profile analysis tool, we can not only analyze a profile section of your model, we can use that section to isolate and select points for further editing actions. Simply place a mensuration line. Using the toolbar button, left click to start the line and right click to end the line and select profile analysis tool. Once the window pops up, enter the profile editing mode by selecting the button. Then use the Select Area tool, add the points within the selected area, then choose the Operate on Selected Points button and subsequently choosing the desired action. The cross-section tools work in the same way for analysis, although here you can generate cross-sections relative to a mensuration line either in parallel or perpendicular, then analyze them in the cross-section and analysis tool window. Change detection is a powerful tool that compares two models to determine what has changed between the two. The first model can be your newly created photogrammatic point cloud or another surface model, but the model you are comparing to must be a surface model. Enter the file information in the change detection window, set the color ramp, and select apply. Here you can see that one part of the model appears to have been removed and another added. The volume calculation tool enables the user to perform very accurate and fast calculations regarding the volume of objects or terrain in the model. It can also be used in conjunction with other models to calculate the difference in volume between the same area of two different models known as volumetric change analysis. On a single model, select an area to measure using one of the selection tools, open the volume calculations window, choose your model, leaving the second model set to the flat reference plane, set the elevation of the plane, and select Calculate button. Readouts are in cubic feet or meters, whichever you have the display unit set to. The Set Water Level tool simulates the effects of rising water levels. It can be used to simulate rising water levels on a model, as well as a profile section of the model. With the Profile Analysis window open and displaying a section, simply raise the water level on the Set Water Properties window or enter a specific value to see the effects on the model and the profile simultaneously. Although slope as a function of Z can be calculated on point clouds, many of the built-in quick tray modeler tools that use slope as part of the process require a surface model. This is true for line of sight, slope analysis, helicopter landing zone tool, contours, and shadow maps. Fortunately, quick terrain modeler can quickly create surface models as previously discussed using the convert model type or as a product of the classification and extraction tools. Quick Terrain Modeler's movie creation tool is based on keyframes. A keyframe is a specific view perspective, also known as a bookmark in Quick Terrain Modeler. They store state information about specific layers that were turned on or off, specific brightness and contrast settings, and many other settings. The process is simple. Create bookmarks to establish keyframes, link them together in a sequence, set hold and transit time intervals, review the movie, and export to an AVI file. Most all products created in Quick Train Modeler can be exported in one format or another. Simply right-clicking on any product in the layer tree will show the export options for each item. It's important to note that since we discussed many ways to adjust, clean, and edit your photogrammatic derived models, that QTM will not make permanent changes to your original data. If you want to save the changes you made during this process as part of the model, Select Export Model from the Export menu and choose the model type, select Export, Name, and save the file. In this three-part series, we covered some of the tools and methods in Quick Train Modeler to analyze, edit, conduct QAQC procedures, produce products, and share data originating from photogrammetric derived point clouds. There are many more tools and analyses available to users. Please visit our website for more tutorials, and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Fly safe!